this video, I'm going to show you how to implement password protection on your Grub2 on your Ubuntu operating system. So basically, Grub2 offers basic password protection for its menu and of course for terminal. So the user can set up passwords to protect the entire menu or specific menu entries. And these passwords can be required for all users or only for selected users. The passwords can be stored in encrypted or unencrypted format. So let's start. So first things first, you have to log in as a super user or use your sudo. Then enter your password. And then you have to make sure that to check current user that you're going to put on your grab entry so in my case i'm going to use my trusty username which of course i know the password and the next is you have to edit etc grab d grab.d for the custom and then at the end of the file you have to put set super users and then the name of the user and then password name of the user and then the password of the user so you have to make sure that the username and password should correspond to each other and then type update grub So all of the entries that you have put on your grub will be updated. And then to test, let's reboot the system. So if it all works well, your grub should have an initial password just like this one all you have to do is key in your username and password So, you might ask me, uh, what if someone actually logged in to my Linux server and knows how to open the grub configuration file? So, most likely, that person who opened uh, that configuration file would be able to see my username and password. So, in order to address the problem, we're going to encrypt the grub password by typing grub dash mk passwd dash pbkdf2 and then enter your root password and then you will be prompted to a hash file or what we call a pbkdf2 hash based on the password of your uh, grab user 
and then you have to take note that you have to copy the entire hash code starting from grab.pbkdf2 until the end of the series of letters and numbers. Once you're done, you have to open your 40 custom file. You have to paste the hash file just like this one. So you have to make sure you have to change the entries as well. Then afterwards, you save the file. And then that's it. Reboot your system. So after applying the hash encryption on your password, even though other user uh, gain access to your 40 underscore custom file, they won't be able to know what is your password. So that's it. Thank you for watching.